Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV and welcome back. We got some more videos for you on this Mac Money Monday. New schedule came out. If you haven't seen it, go look at the end of the video. Um, the last video I had, which was the setup video. But yeah, we are back here with Mac in Los Angeles, sunny Southern California. And uh, yeah, just ready to make some more videos here with the new setup. And no face cam for this video. I'm just going to be having them for two main series, the challenge series and the let's play series, which are coming at you on Wednesdays and Fridays. So here we go. Mac Money and the Braves dead even at 500, 20, and 20. And uh, we are in the month of June now, I believe. So here comes Mac up to the plate. So far, he's 0 for 1 in this one. 1-0 one Braves here in the top of the fourth. No one on, one out. And Mac is going to take this one over to first, but Gonzalez is there to snag that one out and retire Mac. So he'll get 14 points for the at-bat, but nothing more. He's in the field now trying to play this routine fly ball, which he does. That's good. So, uh, yeah, he's just trying to get back into the swing of things, or I guess we are. As the Dodgers now tie it up 1-1 in the top of the ninth. Run around first for Mac. We'll see what he can do here. First pitch of the at-bat. And he hits this one deep. Center field. Jock Peterson's going back. And it's gone. Oh my god. What a way to start off the episode with a Mac Money Moonshot. It's been a while since we have seen one of those. We'll go over that in a sec. But Mac gives the Braves the two-run lead here with a two-run shot to dead center. 28 points for the at-bat, bringing himself and Julian Russell home. And that is it. The Braves beat the Dodgers 3-1. Matt goes one for four, but that homer was a big one, and that would actually earn him the player of the game. So a nice ending there in Los Angeles. We'll now go to the other end of the United States. New York against the Mets here at City Field. Mets in the same division there, one game below 500. As Mac is leading the Braves with nine homers, and he is hitting 327 right now, trying to continue off of that good start. And I don't think he's going to beat this out. He won't. That was close, but he won't. As he'll get 12 points for the at bat, but nothing more. And now he will step up to the plate. 0 for 2 so far. Mets losing 2 1 here to the Braves. Runners on first and second with two outs. Mac is hitting this one right up the middle for a base hit. Runner's going to try to score. He should come in easily. And he does. The throw isn't even home. So an RBI single there for Mac as he advances the runner from first to second. 15 points for the at-bat. So a nice job there by Mac getting things done. Braves up by one now. Mac is in the field trying to make this catch. And he does. Runner is going to come home. He can't throw him out. But, uh, yeah, he makes the catch. Nothing he could do there. Game is tied now at three. As we'll get eight points for the fielding opportunity. The Braves, though, looking very good offensively. They score two more. We're up 5-3 now in the top of the ninth. Runner on third. Is this a repeat? No, but he is going to hit this one into the right field gap. That is going to be extra bases. He is headed over to second, and he has himself an RBI double late in this one. As the runner from third comes home, 30 points for the at-bats, and now he's in the field. Two outs trying to end this one as the Braves are now up 6-3 thanks to that RBI single, or RBI double I should say, and Mac ends the game. So he'll get 8 points for that, and more importantly, the win for the Braves. So, they win this one as they're looking pretty good so far in this episode. 6-3 over the Mets, and now, as you see, Mac hitting, uh, went 2-4 for four there I believe, no, 2-5, for five. and we will now head over to Philadelphia also in the same division and you can see they are struggling 16 and 29 and you can see it there by the attendance as the Ravens are 26 and 20 now they're up one nothing here in the first Mac is out in the field trying to make this catch and he will there as he has to turn around but he makes it and I'll throw it into the cutoff man so just uh, you know getting back into the swing of things and uh, just trying to continue off here Philadelphia does tie it though 2-2 here in the top of the third Max over one so far no one on no one out 0-1 pitch to Mac is hit, and the third baseman's going to dive. No, he's not even going to throw it first. So he'll get the base hit there. Not the prettiest of base hits, but he'll get it. He'll take it. 14 points for that as the third baseman stops it from being a complete base hit, but can't throw it over. So Braves now winning 5-4 in the six. 100 pitches now 
for Matt Cain, but oh my god, look at this, guys. This is unbelievable. This, I, I can't stand it when this happens. Our first baseman, which is not Freddie Freeman anymore, decides he wants to make a highlight reel catch and he instead just lets it drop. Unbelievable. Stuff like that just kills you. So we're down by one here in the top of the ninth. Mac is up to bat. Here comes the pitch. And he hits this one deep to left. But it's going to hook left and it is going to go foul. That sucks. And to make it even worse, the next pitch of the at bat is a strikeout on the curveball. And that's going to do it for the at bat. Man, I thought I had that one. It looked like it was curving. I knew that. But I didn't think it would go all the way. And I didn't think that it would go foul. But it did. Fake you guys out there with the music. Unfortunately, we take the first loss of the episode, of course, to all teams, the Phillies, as we only get one hit that game. So we'll come back home, facing the Dodgers again, this time at Atlanta in Turner Field. The Dodgers actually struggling, 21 and 26. Braves on the upswing, 28 and 21, almost 10 games above 500. That is good to see in 323 now. Still with nine homers, still leading the Braves though, with runners on first and second. That is the base hit in the left. That could score a run as the throw is a good one home. And he is safe. Wow, I thought that was in time, and I thought they got him out, but they didn't. And that is Max Scherzer on the mound for the Dodgers as Mac gets the RBI single. Puig up to bat now. Mac is in the outfield. This could be trouble, and he's going to make the catch here just before the warning track. He'll get eight points. But just imagine if Max Scherzer was on the Dodgers in the current day with him, Kershaw, and Greinke and Ryu and all the guys they have just adding Scherzer into that rotation would just be ridiculous and Mac is gonna beat out the throw here so nice job there he won't get the base hit but he will get on base help that OBS out the Braves do take another one from the Dodgers this time four to three as Mac goes one for four with the RBI so uh, aside from that home run and maybe the double earlier on he hasn't done too much we'll see if we can do something here against the Brewers who are dead even at 500 25 and 25 as the Braves are now officially 10 games above 500 as they are 31 and 21. They got a bit of a win streak going. Let's see if they can continue it. As Mac is up to bat here in the fourth. No one on, one out. And this is hit pretty well to center, but Carlos Gonzalez is there and he will make the catch. So six points for the at bat there for Mac. But uh, nothing more. That one's hit right to Cargo as he's in the field now trying to make this catch. And he does. So nice job there. Just kind of uh, nonchalantly just kind of moves over. Makes the catch. As you see, the Braves are third in National League team ERA leaders with a 2.85 ERA. That is good to see because in years past, the rotation just has not been there for the Braves. That's been their weakness. They had offense. They just didn't have the pitching. And it looks like finally that is fixed. We just need the offense, which it seems like it's working because the last couple of games that we've been winning, we've been getting runs. And now Mac is not looking too good here as he chops this one in front of home plate. He actually almost beat up that throw. But unfortunately, Jonathan Lucroy picks it up and fires to first for the out. So he'll get the sacrifice over there. And the Braves do win this one, 5 0. So a blowout there as Mac goes 0 for 4. So that's not a good way. Last game of the episode coming up, though, as you see here right before the little spotlight, as we're at home facing the Diamondbacks. Mac, last month, 111 at bats. He hit 261, four homers, and 18 RBIs. Pretty much everything is where we want it to be except for the home runs I think and it's not that he has to hit home runs but it's just the fact that I guess when he doesn't hit them it's just kind of boring to play so yes I would like to hit more home runs but you know he's hitting doubles and all that so I guess we'll let it slide but here he comes in a game over one so far here at Turner Field against the D-backs who are doing a little better than in real life and this ball is hit deep to left can it reach the fences no It'll hit the fence, but it won't go over. But that still is a double for Mac Money. No RBIs, but he'll get 17 points there for the double. As you see, he is well ahead of the team in doubles with 19. Justin Upton's the next closest with 10. Same with Julian Russell. But uh, yeah, he's just trying to do some work here against the D-backs. One for two so far on the night. Let's see if he can extend that. Bottom six, no one on, two outs. And that's a single up the middle for Mac Money. So another multi-hit game, second of the episode. And he is on first. Again, no RBIs, but 12 points. And that will help out his average in OBS. David Price on the mound for the D-backs. Nice to see all the, or cool to see all the changes in the league as he's in the field now. And making that catch, uh, I guess, well, I would say making it look easy, but that was a pretty easy catch. Braves win this one 2-0. They are looking very good. Teheran with the win. Price with the loss. Matt goes 2-4 with a run, a double 
No RBIs though, and that is going to do it for the episode. I hope you enjoyed. We are back on the channel, back uploading daily, except for Sundays. Mm, tomorrow you will see a San Diego Padres franchise. I hope you enjoyed. It's going to be awesome, guys. Uh, we're going to have some new series, the Challenge Wednesday and Let's Play Friday. We're going to have some fun with those, some user interactions or some viewer interactions with some face cams. That'll be cool. Again, if you want to see more of Mac Money, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to check out our channel. Make sure to subscribe. Peace. Yeah.